In this video, I'm going to show you a key test that measures important physical components for golf. In order to get the most accurate reading with the isometric mid five ball, we use something called force plates. Force plates will measure exactly how much force you can put through the ground. However, force plates aren't always commonly available, and you can start to get a little bit of a similar output by measuring through a heavy back squat test, your one rep max. However, a one rep max with any form of exercise requires a lot of time and a lot of skill. So it's not always as effective or as safe and as reliable as the isometric mid five pull using force plates. It's also important to note that being able to measure this on force plates, the reason that is so much more accurate than any form of one rep max testing is the force plates will measure without body weight. So basically your net peak force. That shows that obviously if you was a heavier, bigger individual, that ratio of strength to body weight can kind of be a little bit misleading. By taking your body weight out, we get a neutral ground of what your max output is and could be. Also with the isometric mid five pulse, specifically the test, because of where the barbell is gonna sit in the movement, the actual mid five, we can see that there is a similarity between this position and a golf postural position which kind of gives golfers a clear link between how those two areas fit and also some familiarity with the position itself. All we're going to do to measure this effectively with the force plates, this is the setup position. We're going to grab the bar and pull it up, feeling like we're pushing through the ground, which is that vertical force feeling. We're pulling as hard as we can, strong through the grip, that bar is going to then be in a fixed position, which is the isometric, because there's no extra movement happening, and this is going to measure the force through the force plates. So we're going to grab the bar, we're going to get it into position, and then we're going to pull as hard as we can for five seconds and see what force comes out. So now we've got a clear score of what the peak vertical force is, which is often really related to more your max strength through the ground up, which is use an exercise like a squat variation, a heavy squat variation, a hex bar deadlift, something along those lines to help improve it, we now need to get an idea of how much that can be improved, whether that's what level that's at in relation to golfers of a similar le uh, playing level, similar age, and maybe club head speed in terms of what it's trying to be achieved. From that, we can determine how your program can be altered and targeted to help improve that peak vertical force output. 